Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Clock Tower. We got some pretty good innings last time, finally. Let's go for what's, I hope, a better one? Despite skipping to the end for ending B, I'm going to show you the full playthrough for the next ending because I actually have to vary my gameplay a bit. Once again, we'll start with the basics. Oh good, I saved myself slight amounts of time by actually getting the key in the box this time. Okay, out we go. Now let's deal with that nasty old parrot. So brutal. Annoying bird. All right, all right, relax. Can I just... Thank you. Ugh, anything to shut that thing up, am I right? Bam. That's a lot off my mind. Okay, good, we got the perfume. And we're out. And now we deal with Bobby. Bobby the Scissor Man. Bobby Barrows is kind of a cool name. Once again, I'll give myself a slight head start here. Open up. Time to go. God, he is so menacing with those things. Alright, this ought to do it. That takes care of him. And now we go upstairs to grab the black robe. Ever so slowly, of course. Ugh. 
Ugh. Okay, now for the closet. I don't need to check the west end of the hallway. I've already gotten what I need. Let's get the insecticide. One. Two. Three. Okay, let's move on out of here. And now we'll go to that hallway where we hear Anne scream, or where we may hear Anne scream. It's pretty likely, but hey, we've avoided it before. Let's see what happens. Huh, nothing. Okay. And now we check the spooky scary room. Grab ourselves a key. Deal with the presumably g, -g, -g ghost. Bam. That's how you do it. Okay, now for the endless search for the library. This room's searchable, so we'll take it. Oh my god, first try. All right. And it actually has what I'm looking for. Oh, this pleases me. This is great. Cool. Oh, this is going to be an efficient playthrough, I think. You know, fingers crossed and all that. And the statue is going to be right here. Bingo. Got it. Look at how quick this is. This is amazing. Got the cross on the bottom. We got the idol. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now I need to find the cage room, and it's one of those four rooms downstairs. Which one? I guess we'll find out. There are two rooms right here. So I'll work my way backwards because I still want to maneuver my way over to the kitchen. 
Oh my god, this is easily my most efficient playthrough. First try, this is ridiculous. And we get the key. Beautiful. Okay, the rats and bird are free. Excellent. Now you will notice that we are not going to the secret prison this playthrough. That's one of the things I'm omitting. And there's still another change to be made. Yeah, first things first, go into the kitchen. I still want the kitchen because I still want to go to the the room with the phone where Miss Mary just brandishes a knife. So freaky. Seriously though, this this is easily my most efficient playthrough. The first guess for both rooms, it's crazy. All I need is for the phone room itself to be downstairs and I'll basically have a perfect run. I, well, actually, either way it doesn't matter because I'll still have to go upstairs and downstairs to... No, no, no. I'm, I'm doing the statue room this time, actually. So, yeah, if, if the phone room is downstairs, then I have a perfect run. We'll find out. If I were doing a staff playthrough, then I would have to go upstairs and downstairs regardless. In any case, Uh, actually, you know what? For the purpose of uh, this playthrough, I am in fact going to want to go both upstairs and downstairs anyway because we're making a change. I'm actually going to open the fridge. A ham was put in here. Got some ham. King's Quest V, baby. Okay, got the ham. I guess I have to go into the phone room to be able to do anything with the other room anyway, so okay, it doesn't even matter if the phone room's upstairs or down, I don't think. Let's find out. Hey, look at that. I do want the scene, though. Actually, you know what? Might as well grab the key. I mean, why not? There. Got the key. I'm gonna be needing that later anyway. Still, I would like to trigger the event with Miss Mary, if she would be so kind. Bingo. Glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mary, everyone, everyone, everything's going to be just fine. Oh, well, this is different. 
Oh, pouring a drink. Well, drink this. It'll calm you down. Huh? Oh boy. My god, Mary really is stone cold, isn't she? Ooh. Hi. Uh. Where? Hey, bro. Oh my god. Ooh. Eh. Who are you? Uh. Huh. Food. Jeez. My food. Oh my god. That's a freaking corpse party ending. Holy crap. Sorry, PSP. Sorry, whatever program was on the PC. I think the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom beat you to it. I mean, clearly the solution is to give him the food. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. This will be easy enough to do. Okay, so I'll talk to him. Who are you? I gotta find out where the hell I am. Um, who are you? Simon. Belmont. I mean, Barrows. This man is Barrows? Well, we've never even been introduced to this guy. So, okay. What can I... Do I just walk out? Do I talk to him again? Ah! <laughs> right now, it's watching you. Huh? Watching you cradle under the star. Cradle under the star. There's still not much I can do. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Oh, oh, oh! It's Lot. Oh my God, she's alive. Jennifer, you're okay. Lot. Half a sec. I'll get you out. There we go. Now get out of here before Mary comes. Huh? Quickly, Jennifer. Cool. Thank you lot. Oh, a voice is her outside the shed. Now, isn't that a pity? Oh God. Jennifer, don't move a muscle. I will punish you. Oh boy, I'm moving a muscle. <laughs> Damn. Every time you see Mary, she gets crazier and crazier. Where am I? Also, this looks gorgeous. Oh, is this the courtyard where presumably Anne dies if you hear the scream? A deep crack in the wall. It's crumbling. Can't I go in? Do I go here? Where? I mean... Cage? That makes no sense. So where the hell do I go?
there's nowhere to go. Obviously, I'm not going that damn shed. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, that's why we can never go out into the courtyard. Oh, Jesus. I forgot we didn't trigger that in the first place. That scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. Also, I'm not supposed to investigate, unfortunately. I honestly wonder what would happen if I, uh... I don't know. I should try probably playing through this again and seeing if I could just actually go out the door and see what happens. Because all we saw is her getting thrown through the window, right? I'm actually very curious as to what would happen if uh, we can walk out there, but that'll, that'll compromise my ending, so I can't do it. Oh, that really startled me. I completely forgot that we had not triggered that. Oof, that's how this game gets you. So now I want to take a look at all this stuff. I'm not going for the staff ending, but it's still important that I take a look at what's going on here. shelf oh I can't even push the shelf aside because I'm not going for the staff that's fine okay 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 and now we can uh, get through the game so you've seen the differences now I cannot believe we get freaking eaten in a bad, not a bad end, but a game over. Wow. I'm really surprised the game actually goes as far as giving you the sounds. Pretty dark for a Nintendo system. Like a 90s Nintendo system. Alright, let's do this. So Anne is probably dead. Lot? I don't know how uh, high my hopes are for her, honestly. Okay, chapel time. Once again, I'll give everything in the room a once-over before actually activating stuff. I do like how when you look at the mural, she remarks that this room looks like the one in the mural. It's a nice little attention to detail. Like, yeah, that thing you did, it paid off. The cradle under the star. Now we're starting to learn. That's a dot dot dot. Crow corpse. Thing with a cross in it. Symbols. Demon idol. go down.
watch Miss Mary sneak by. Now it's time for us to sneak by. Let's see what happened with Lot because that was like I don't know what happened if you actually kind of hear her get KO'd there. Is she okay or what? I mean, is she okay? But is she in this position? Oh. Whoa. So I don't even know what's going on. Where's the body? Or is she not dead yet? That's kind of scary. In any case, let's go ahead and deal with uh, Dan. Here we go. Oh, that twitchy eye, ugh. All right, time to go. Mashing away, mashing away. What I find creepy is that as slow as that thing is, it kind of is gaining on us. We're not the fastest person around. I mean, there's that, but even so, ugh. Okay, we ought to be good. Take that. Okay, now for the grand finale, right? Elevator time. And yes, we are going to the third floor. <laughs> Got a little scare again, but I think it'll come to nothing. Boom. Okay, he chases us again. Let's see where this goes. Wait, he's there. He is. God, what a freak. Okay, that takes care of the scissor man, right? Now what about Mary? And where's Lot? Uh, Anne? See, that's why you don't look out the window, because that would confirm her death. Jennifer. Only you. Only you. I 
am prepared for- Whoa! Whoa! God damn! I don't even have a panic thing, it's just kinda happening. I'm mashing anyway, but I don't think I need to. Ha, ha, ha. Huh? Oh, the bird I freed! Is that, like, a callback? That's awesome! I got nature on my side. But that's rough. I saw her kill Anna the last second. Unbelievable. Wow, that's grim. Well, that was something of a somber ending. We were so close. We almost got Anne out of there alive. But, alas, it was not meant to be. But hey, that's the A ending. Did you know, though, that there is still another path? You know what I've been seeing a lot of lately? Scissor man coming out of the bathtub. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. If you don't mind. This time the death we confirm early will be Anne's. Well, I went ahead and had Anne die, and I never even had the Scream Hallway activated for Laura, so for all I know, Laura's alive? I went through the A ending again. Let's see what changes. Maybe Mary will throw Laura off the balcony? I don't know. I mean, I assume that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, it is Laura. Cool. So I assume we're going to see the same thing except with Laura. That's pretty sad. Freaking nuts. I assume the rest of the ending is going to play through the same way, but that... Wow. It's cool that they have the variation.
here we go. I love this part. What you gonna do now? You brat. Oh no! I think her dialogue changed slightly because it was just, ah, in the previous one. All right, we win. And there we go. Endings A through H cleared. But you know what? Even despite the alternate path here, where you can choose whether Anne or Laura dies, and then the other one dies later, even though I showed you both of those paths, we're still not done. You know, there's one more thing we can do. We can go for the S ending. For now, of course, I must stop the installment. Well, I tried going into the courtyard after hearing Anne scream, and I tried looking out the window after hearing Anne scream, and then going into the courtyard, and no dice. But I did learn something different. Here I started a new game. I think I'm going to show you this room once or something. Now, this is the other side of that crack that was in the wall in the courtyard that I couldn't do a thing with. And I still can't do a thing with it, right? What I did not realize is that in the crumbled hallway, I could actually do this? Pile of trash, wood and concrete, and I actually can take a rock. There's a different inventory item that is immediately useful. That's just so awesome. And now I'm in the courtyard. Isn't that cool? So I'll cross the courtyard. See if I can go in that cabin, I guess, from the outside. And honestly, something was supposed to happen, so I'm gonna try this again. But now I have courtyard escape, right? I'm going to try this again. Because it's just like the scream hallway. There's the potential for something to happen when I go through this room. Nothing. I'm not giving up. There it is. There's Anne again. That was Anne. Jennifer, help! Glo Ooh. Can I? I can't even move. This is enough. This you cannot put this one on me. I can't move.
Oh my god. He really made a die for me. Holy crap. There's no going in the cabin. Just for the hell of it, I'll see if there's some other way I can evade the guy. But yeah, there you go. There's your Anne Courtyard death, even if it wasn't the way I expected. You know what? I'm gonna call back to the very first installment to try making use of the garage. I'm surprised he isn't right here, you know? Let's go for the... I can't do the shovel. Haystack? Alright, let's climb. I don't know how effective hiding in the car will be, so let's go up here. Oh, he is on- Oh, God. If he sees me, then I think I'm in trouble. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is just happening. Do I hide behind a haystack, or what am I doing? Oh, I am controlling this. Oh, my God. Oh, I think he sees me. That's really not good. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe I got lucky. Hey, I avoided him. That's one way to do it. Okay, cool clip. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got every ending that the game makes us think it has. We got endings B through H, and both versions of ending A, but there is still the coveted S ending to acquire. It's time to give this game one last playthrough, and we're going to pull out all the stops. Let's see what perfection looks like. Until next time, everyone.